How are you? The merriment that pervaded the special dinner organized by the King of Zulu in Johannesburg, South Africa, for the eighth summer of Benin on the occasion of his 81st birthday was a testimony of the high regard the monarch has for the eighth summer. The chief host, who came with the queen and some top chiefs from his kingdom, received the eighth summer of Benin and his very large entourage with a warm reception which officially commenced the special dinner organized to honor the patriarch of the House of Ibnidion on his 81st birthday anniversary. <laughs> It was time for whining, backslapping, clicking of glasses, exchange of pleasantries, and recounting of old memories between the two parties, which also spiced up the evening. <laughs> Speaking during the dinner, the King of Zulu said, The eighth summer of Benin is one man he holds in high esteem and loved not only by him but his subjects in Zulu land. He said, The celebrant, the eighth summer of Benin, who has many parts and has recorded many firsts in his quest to advance the cause of the black race, has also done so much to uplift traditional institutions in Africa. I had such an opportunity to welcome you and to receive you uh, in South Africa. And uh, being friends, you know, for too long, Thank you. there is a very good close relationship between our two countries. Africa one day must come together. <laughs> The people of your age needs to be respected. Doesn't matter their positions, they are, but the contribution they are making to the people. I think we need to make use of you. <laughs> you know what? Anywhere you go, negotiate for your content. I know we are doing it. We have done a lot for our people in Nigeria. And I know you are doing a lot for other people in other countries. The day comes, God helps Africa. No one to go to bed without food. That will be the day. The angels of Africa mm. will be laughing and clapping hands in heaven. The Eighth Summer of Benin, an honorary Romanian consort to Edo and Delta states, who thanked the king for the honor done him, promised that the bond of friendship between the House of Ibnidion and the Royal Palace of Zululand will continue to be strengthened. The Eighth Summer of Benin, who spoke through the former Pro-Chancellor of Ibnidion University, Okada, Professor Oluaino, said the treat by the Zulu monarch was a testimony of the hospitality the monarch is known for. You simply ask me to thank your majesty thank you. for this wonderful dinner, this endless number of courses. I'm very sure if we stay a little longer, they will begin to ask us to bring the breakfast menu. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'm not going to make it too long. Mm. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank the Queen. Thank I'd like to thank your eminent people who came with you. Mm. I'd like to thank you, Princess, mm. uh, and uh, our colleagues also, our brothers who came from home. Mm. I'd like to Thank you for making South Africa the destination for his birthday. And for you also receiving also one Majesty. Some of the guests who attended the special dinner organized by the King of Zulu for the summer speak on their experience. I have seen with my eyes the kind of 
people, people of rank and wealth, people who occupy great seats in their kingdoms, like the king of Zulu in South Africa, who have just fettered us to dinner this evening, all to give the Assembly of Benin, Chief Gabriel Osawari, Benedio, CFRO, the honor and respect as a prelude to his celebration. I'm uh, witnessing uh, a very rare occasion uh, this evening. In the midst of um, the very busy schedule of uh, the Zulu King, he uh, finds time to honor uh, the chief uh, Benedion on his 81st birthday to a dinner party. And uh, we were all there. He poured all the encomium on him uh, as a great African man, you know, uh, with all the achievements. Uh, not only in Nigeria but in the whole of Africa. Uh, that I see is a pride to uh, Nigeria and to the family of Ibnidia. And of course to us, the friends, who really believe that Ibnidia is uh, making Africa, Africa proud. The special dinner set the stage for the G-Day, a Fosa Wangwe reporting.